All right, let's just talk about the emergency section of the um, of the 280FX. Okay. What happens if this red light comes on when you're flying? It's going to be up here on the enunciator panel. So mm -hmm. it's this specific red light. Tell me what the pilot's corrective action is when you see that light. Oh, I'm going to just start praying. I'm just probably not, I'm probably going to tell my passengers that we're probably going down. I mean, red means bad. Rotor Tips, brought to you by Helicopter Online Ground School's No-Go Decision Button. When you feel the pressure to fly, but know the right decision is to stay on the ground, hit the hogs, no-go, and live to fly another day. Our next Rotor Tip is to know your aircraft. Some of the best applicants that I've seen over the years are those that are really, really familiar with the Rotorcraft flight manual, the RFM or the POH, whatever you want to call it. Those applicants that show up in their own aircraft, well, they probably have a slight advantage over someone who is renting from the local flight school. This happens to be one of my least favorite statements from the applicant. And that is, well, this is probably the last time I'll be flying this make and model because I'm buying my own helicopter when I get home. So what they really are trying to imply is that they really don't need to be that familiar with the helicopter that they showed up for in the check ride. And uh, I want to let the applicants know that this is really incorrect thinking. You should treat that this make and model, honestly, is the one that's going to get you safely home by yourself if you happen to have flown to the check ride that day. I, uh, I hear the excuse a lot when they say, well, you know, I'm just here long enough to get transitioned into the aircraft. I want to use this helicopter to take a check ride in. I really want them to understand and to, to know the aircraft. Uh, I feel that the uh, emergency procedures in the RFM are very important. I will ask applicants uh, if this specific light illuminates, what does it mean? And what is the pilot's corrective action? Because in the event of an actual emergency, you will not have time to refer to the RFM for guidance. All right, let's just talk about the emergency section of the, um, of the 280FX. Okay. What happens if this red light comes on when you're flying. It's going to be up here on the enunciator panel. So it's this specific red light. Tell me what the pilot's corrective action is when you see that light. Oh, I'm going to just start praying. I'm just probably not, I'm probably going to tell my passengers that we're probably going down. I mean, red means bad, so. Typically, but this red light itself, what what does that indicate? What is that? Is that the low rotor RPM? Mm -hmm. Oh, that means that the rotor is spinning way too fast. Uh, that the oh, low. <laughs> God, see, I can't even think straight. Low rotor, duh. Low rotor means that the, the rotor is not spinning fast enough. Yeah, let's just uh, stop here for a second okay. and uh, let's yeah, talk I, about how this a, is going. You mind if I take a break? Yeah. Can, I, can I go to the bathroom yeah, or something? Yeah, all get right, going. Hang on, all right. You know, we're only 500 feet above the ground, we're 1,000 feet above the ground, and in the event of an engine failure, you won't have time to go grab the RFM and uh, reference it. So there are certain portions of the emergency section that I feel that you, need, you do need to memorize, and uh, not only to pass the uh, oral portion of the test, but even more importantly, it could save your life. So, please, know your aircraft.